As you work on building links to your website, you might sometimes end up with bad links pointing back to your website. Maybe those links are really spammy. Maybe those links are ones that you've acquired in ways that aren't totally in compliance with Google standards. Whatever the reason is, you want to clean up your backlink profile and make sure that Google doesn't associate those bad backlinks with your website. If Google is associating those bad backlinks with your website, that can end up hurting your SEO performance. In worst case scenario, it can also lead to manual actions which can take your website out of search results. If you end up in a situation where you have bad backlinks pointing to your website for whatever reason, the best answer is to try and get those websites to remove that bad backlink. That way you can have it taken down altogether and that link no longer exists on the web. Of course, that's not always possible. Other websites may not respond to your requests asking for a link to be removed. In those cases, you can use Google's disavow tool. This tool lets you instruct Google to not associate certain links with your website and not include those certain backlinks in their evaluation of your website. Let's talk about how you use Google's disavow tool. Before I discuss how you should use this tool, I want to emphasize that this is an advanced feature. Disavowing backlinks can be beneficial in specific circumstances, but you need to make sure that you know what you're doing, that you're intentionally removing that link and that the disavow tool is the best way to do it. As a result, disavowing links is probably not something you're going to do all that often. And if you are disavowing links, you want to make sure it's something you do after a lot of deliberation and careful analysis. Because of how advanced it is, Google does vary this tool in Search Console. You want to scroll down to Legacy Tools and Reports, then click on Learn More. In the box that appears, you want to search for Disavow. You can click on the Disavow links to your site. This will show you Google's instructions about how you disavow links to your site, there's a lot of good information here, and I suggest you read it before you use this tool. On here, you can scroll down to step two, and under step two, click the link that says, go to the disavow links tool page. This will bring up the disavow tool page. This is where you can actually start disavowing backlinks to your website. There's two different ways this may look, depending on if you have any existing disavows or not. In this example, we're looking at a website Elementives that already has some backlinks disavowed. From here, you want to download the existing list of disavows. Any new backlinks you wish to disavow should be added to the existing list of disavows. If you simply upload a list of only the new disavows, you'll be wiping out any of those existing disavows that you've already told Google about. So the first step is you can download the list, this will show you the list of all the existing links that you've disavowed. And at the end of this list, you can add in your new domain that you wish to disavow. You have two different ways that you can disavow things, either at a page level or at a domain level. If you disavow at a page level, any backlinks from that page pointing to your website will be disavowed, meaning Google will not associate any links from that page to your website in their evaluation of your website. The other way that you can disavow things is you can disavow at the domain level. In that case, any backlinks from anywhere on that domain will be ignored by Google when they're evaluating your website. Once you've added any of the domains or pages to your website that you wish to disavow, you can save this updated file and return to the disavow links tool and click on replace. You can browse for this file on your computer and then it will upload that file and give you a confirmation message. If you've never uploaded a disavow file before to your website, this is what the tool page will look like for you. From here, you don't have anything to download, so you don't have anything to update. So instead, you can just click on Upload Disavow List to upload your very first disavow list to this domain. Here again, when you click on Upload, you'll be taken to the file browser, locate the disavow file on your system, upload it, and then it will give you a confirmation message. One recommendation is you want to upload that disavow file to all variations of your domain. That way you're telling Google 
to ignore those backlinks regardless what variant of your domain they're pointing to. In the case of MatthewEdgar.net, I want to disavow those links regardless if those links are pointing to HTTPS, www.matthewedgar.net, or HTTP, no www.matthewedgar.net. If you have any questions about disavows using the tool in Google Search Console or deciding which domains should or should not be disavowed, please let me know. You can email me at matthew at elementive.com. If you liked this video and want to see more from Elementive, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.